Hello and welcome to my channel. Today in the video, we will discuss about how an electron withdrawing group and an electron donating group affect the reactivity of different compounds. So let's get started with the concept. But before that, let me tell you what an electron withdrawing group is and how do we identify a group as electron withdrawing group or electron donating group. So let's get started with the concept now. So have a look. If I see that is a benzene compound and to the benzene compound, if there's an atom attached A, any atom A, it's fine. To that, a B atom B is attached, right? So if, if an atom A is in there and just after that, there's an atom B. Now, if B is more electronegative, En is electronegative than A, what will happen? Exactly, very good. B will pull electrons from A. Now, suppose if A is pulling, being given, A is giving electrons to B, what would happen to it? Obviously, there will be a positive charge. A small positive charge will be developed. What will happen to B? Yes, exactly. A negative charge will be developed. Now, what happens in this case? Tell me. A has lost electron to B. So, A has become angry now. Yeah, He wants electron. So, from where he will get the electron? Naturally, from the ring. Now the ring will become electron deficient, right? Now, fun fact, those electrons which are being pulled, right? They are pulled from only ortho para positions, okay? So these are the only two positions which get affected. If you want, I can prove this actually, but not now. As of now, let's focus on what effect it carries. So if B is more electronegative than A, then then AB is said to be electron withdrawing group, EWG, electron withdrawing group, right? I call it as EWG and an electron withdrawing group decreases See, delta positive means loss of electron. There's a decreasing charge. An electron withdrawing group decreases the electron density at ortho para positions. Exactly. At ortho para positions now. That is what an electron withdrawing group does. Let me give an example. Like, for example, if NO2 group is attached, what will happen? It will pull electrons from the benzene ring towards itself. Further, the electron goes out of the ring. Some more examples I can quote as aldehydes. Some more example I can quote as ketones. Right? So you get my point, right? Cyanide. And the list goes on. Acid. So if we have such a case you know, where the condition that I have laid down is satisfied, the group is electron withdrawing. Now it's time I should show you how it happens, right? So let me explain why these positions gets a positive charge why they become electron deficient let's take a look so let's get started with the mechanism so i'll just briefly show you how it happens so let's take a look at this compound here suppose i'm taking nitro group as an example right so tell me what will happen this double bond migrates towards nitrogen why because oxygen is pulling electron from nitrogen so nitrogen has to pull it from excellent the benzene ring so the compound takes in the electron towards itself. Nitrogen atom loses electron to oxygen. And naturally, as a process, what will happen? There'll be a double bond here, see? Then there'll be a negative charge here. Why? Because oxygen just gained a lone pair, right? Now, there'll be a positive charge here. Why? Because that this particular carbon lost a pair of bond, right? A pair of electron. Again, this will migrate here as the next immediate step. So we'll get a double bond here, a positive charge here. And then this, see, we get this basically, correct? Now, what will happen next? As a continuation, this will move. And we end up getting exactly a positive charge here. So what do you understand from the diagram that I've been drawing up until now? You can clearly see that See, you can clearly see that the positive charge will again come back 
giving us the final structure where we can ultimately comment that the negative, uh, you know, the electronegative atom oxygen has pulled the electrons towards itself in such a way that ortho para positions have always become affected. See, in these structures, you can see that the only positions which have got a positive charge are ortho and para. So we know this is ortho, this is para, and that's ortho. So if there's a group attached, which is electron withdrawing group, it pulls the electron from ortho para positions, making them electron deficient. So an electron withdrawing group decreases the electron density at ortho para positions, yes, making it, making those positions, what? Electron deficient, making those positions, deficit in electron right those positions becomes lowered less in electrons cool now let me tell you what effect electron donating group might have and then i'll take up some questions you know on how this can be understood so let's go to the next page so i you can take a screenshot of this let's go to the next one okay moving on now suppose is this in a benzene there's a benzene ring and to this there's a group attached right a b or maybe x y and if this time x is more electronegative than y okay x is more electronegative than y so what will happen in this case in this case y will give electrons to x and what will x do exactly carry forward it to the benzene ring now what happened in the previous case ortho para were losing right here ortho para will gain it so this becomes negative this becomes negative and this becomes negative examples you know let, let me quote some example example of this could be o ch3 any sol o h alcohol phenol um then we can also have chlorine because see there's a lone pair which can be delocalized then i can have a um, few more examples here like we can also have o c double bond o ch3 if you have this group attached the list goes on yeah you can have this one so all of these can they can be uh, aniline aniline is another such example which can be quoted now what these groups do is they are in such a case you know when we have x is more relative than y then x is called as electron donating group right this is what we mean by that now what will happen in this case see i'll explain why ortho para position becomes electron rich there's a logic for it let me explain now suppose i have a case of phenol now we know whenever there's a double bond next to a lone pair lone pair move towards the benzene ring or the double bond and also hydrogen is helping him because hydrogen is losing electrons to oxygen and oxygen is pulling it pushing it to the benzene ring what will happen the next immediate step would be migration of this bond here so i'll get a negative charge here double bond o lone pair h a positive charge right now next see this will move here see what i'm why i'm drawing all these structures you must be wondering why i'm doing that see the only purpose is to help you visualize how ortho para positions gets electron rich so this will move here see this will again move back so you can clearly see these positions are getting electron rich right see these positions are getting electron rich so ultimately we get an answer like this so consider the diagrams what do you observe what do you observe that this position see this position this position and this position they have got electron rich so ortho para ortho position becomes electron rich and that is the beauty of this process i can just explain that electron donating groups increases electron density increases 
electron density at ortho para position on contrary to what electron withdrawing group does right see in electron withdrawing group they were pulling and the ortho para were getting positively charged but in this case they push it and or it becomes negatively charged at ortho para position that means they become rich electron rich at those sites so please take a screenshot of this and now i'll take you to problems so let's get started with some questions now suppose there's a question there's a chlorobenzene molecule suppose yeah and to this position there is an no2 group attached cool now what will happen suppose an electrophile comes in maybe ch3 plus is this an electrophile obviously why because he's short of electrons cool and they ask you what would be the product so let's see how this can be answered so can you tell me what kind of group is no2 exactly it's an electron withdrawing group he is an electron withdrawing group so what will he do he will pull electrons from the ring from which position from this position which is ortho to him from this position which is ortho to him and it could have done from here but that is booked sadly that slot is not available so what can we say we can say that see this position this position have got electron deficient so being an electrophile where can it go possibly excellent excellent very good being an electrophile it can go only at the meta position with respect to no2 or ortho position with respect to chlorine so this has only two choices he can go either here or the other side of it so he can only go to this position or this position so what would be my answer exactly my answer would be ch3 getting attached on to the ortho position with respect to chlorine right you may also draw a full circle because it happens you know structure way so this becomes the product so we can see an electron withdrawing group you know directs or has you know say points you know go there he basically points that you should go there so an electron withdrawing group directs and attacking electrophile to meta position okay because their ortho and para is totally electron deficient so an electron withdrawing group directs an electrophile to meta position right therefore they are called as meta directing cool and the same go if you have an electron donating group so an electron donating group directs an incoming electrophile to ortho or para positions preferably para because para has less repulsion therefore they are called as ortho para directing groups so this becomes the concept so we'll do another question and then we shall wind up this video up so please take a note of this these two points i might have written very casually but they are very very strong statements which will help you a lot in doing numericals or you know problems so let's go to the next page and do some one more problem okay have a look suppose there is chlorine chlorobenzene and to this position suppose there is a group attached maybe oh and now we've been asked that if there's an electrophile coming in let's say ch3 plus where would it go where would it go so let's think about it yeah so what will happen oh is known to increase electron density at these positions right right obviously so these positions are highly electron rich so the ch3 will go to which position exactly it can go to any of those two positions now here chlorine is also playing a role obviously here chlorine is also doing something but oh is much stronger electron donating than chlorine is therefore my answer would be ch3 group will come here because it's ortho para directing with respect to the electron withdrawing group so that's how the answer is going to be 
So this is how an electron withdrawing group or an electron donating group affects the rate of a reaction and where the product will form. The direction is determined by the group present. So I hope this session was helpful and you understood how to deal problems on that. So with this, we'll wind up now. Thank you so much. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends. Thank you.